Bro, bitch, I like dick, girl, all up in my throat. Girl, yeah. here. Congrats. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jade. I'm back at it again with another motherfucking video. Yeah. So today's video, we're going to be doing... Oh, shit. We got the lovely... Girl, where are my classmates right there? Oh. Child, girl, fuck the limo. And today we got. DJ the Dawn, one and only. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing some unpopular opinions. I had wrote these down earlier and we just gonna talk about them, see how each other feel about them. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned into the video. Um, mm -hmm. You can dislike if you want to. Hit that notification way, to, be uh, to be verified. That. I'm still getting, I don't know. All right. All right, so the first one says, how do you feel about body shaming? Do you feel like big girls get it more, skinny girls get it more, like body shaming, period? Like, what's your opinion on it? When you say get it more, what do you mean? Like, get more shame, like, for their body. Like, you know, body shaming, everybody could get it. But you know how people be like, well, bigger girls get it worse. I feel like my unpopular opinion, yes, big girls get body shame, but smaller girls can get body shame too. And people might say bigger girls get body shame more, which is yes, that's probably likely, but I feel as though big shame in a big girl is the same way as big shame in a small girl too, because at the end of the day, how she feeling insecure is how that small girl feeling insecure. But that's my opinion. But they get on the big girls more because they feel like this generation, small waist, skinny bar, hourglass. Right, like, that's why I say they do get it more on the big girls, but it's not just big girls. It's all girls. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because, you know, they don't want to say that about Coral Ray. You need to Girl, that. they said, do they be talking about seeing her for I mean, kids not, and all that? Not as bad as she, when she first came out, it was bad. But now, Lizzo, she been yeah, out. Yeah, like, still and they still her. talking about her. So, I get what you, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, so the second unpopular opinion I got. I feel like toys do not have a gender. And I don't care how y'all feel about this. A lot of y'all going to be like, well, you want my son, but my son not playing with no dog. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. If my son said he want to play with Ken, he going to play with Ken. If he said he want to play with Barbie and Bratz, he going to play with that. That's how I feel. I feel like it don't matter. Like, seriously, I feel like it don't matter. I don't feel like it's the more, it's not more the gender. It's more the definition of the toy. Because mm -hmm. gender of a toy, I mean, it is a girl. A girl, right. a girl with a bust down and it look like a girl, I mean. Yeah, but it's like, do you feel like just because they're a boy, they shouldn't play with certain things? Or just because they're a girl, they shouldn't play I mean, with certain things? It, I feel like at a young age, like if you're a, a little boy, I don't feel like you know what you want. You're young. You know? Right. But as you get older, like maybe in the teens, okay. But my thing is this. Don't sexualize a toy just because they playing with it. That child don't even know probably what being gay is. So why do you assume that that child just want to be gay just because of what they're playing with? At the end of the day, it's a toy. I can have a nephew right now. He could be playing with a toy and not even playing with it as in like a girl way, for example. He could be playing wrestling with the Barbies or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just all about... My eyelashes. Girl. <laughs> Alright, so the third question. Y'all gonna hate me. I feel like pronouns should not be a problem. It's weird sometimes. <laughs> like, what the fuck is they and us? Like, girl, you is not multiple people. <laughs> I feel like it has no pro I just feel like, I don't know. I can understand he, she. I feel like straight guys shouldn't have it since gay guys and gay girls. Now, why the hell is he using that damn lawnmower? Okay, look, girl, look at the stomach just sagging. Mm, girl. <laughs> it's a claws, baby. Okay. Oh my god, he too old for that. So I feel like pronouns should not be a problem. Like, if a person want to be called they, they can. But it's going to be hard. But, you know. Me personally, I felt like when straight guys started using that, that was weird. Because, bitch, you straight. We know what you are. Right, like, for the people who use they, them. Them transgender started it. And mm -hmm. we understood why they started it. But straight guys, I don't know. Why the fuck he, it, baby, we know you he. It. I right. feel like if you know you straight, you should not use no pronouns. Because... When did straight guys start using that? Exactly. I don't remember when straight guys ever use. I don't remember nobody straight ever using that. Girl, I'm over but here. But nowadays, straight people be like, they'll be straight and they want you to call them they them. But Girl, being yeah, they them not. doesn't mean that you're gay. No, I'm just saying like they quick to bash gay people, mm -hmm. but use some sim similar things. Like I see straight guys, they get famous off of being gay. Okay, which is weird, but this shit is not a trend. I promise you, it ain't. 
It ain't cause bitch, I like geek girl. I like <laughs> up in my throat. Ah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number, I mean, opinion number four. Okay, I feel like chocolate is nasty. I don't care what nobody say, baby. You can cancel me if you want to. Too much chocolate is nasty. Bitch, you are a cancel, just like James Charles. Cause what? <laughs> I love you Too much chocolate. chocolate? I don't want no Rocky Mountain ice cream. I don't want no double chocolate. That's too fucking much. Okay, I do believe in too much chocolate, but I love chocolate. <laughs> um, listen, me personally, I feel like that's a no. I love me that's a good chocolate. Much. Give me a little fudge. Yes. Yo, mm -hmm. uh, no. Especially a chocolate mint. Mm. Yeah, nigga, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. What the fuck is a chocolate mint? <laughs> yes, no chocolate mint ice cream. <laughs> yes. All right, number five. I said, I feel like feeding for a vape is unattractive. Oh, bitch. Mm -mm, that's that white people drug. Girl, feeding for a vape. Why is you over here like, I need my vape. I can't. I need my. Girl. I can understand a wee pen, girl. Yes. I'm okay, I, I can maybe that. understand that. Calm your nerve down. But a vape, girl, that's cigarettes. Basically, in a in a battery, in a machine, in a machine. Like, what even is it? In battery machine? Mm -hmm. Like, you don't even know what it is. You just smoking it. Girl, I knew that vape was not for me when I smoked it one time with this white girl. We friend with fuck her because she fake as fuck. Uh, but <laughs> they made my fucking head hurt. So oh I was like, that's God. not for me. I'm not smoking that shit. Mm -mm. Girl, and they be like, it's the little buzz. My fucking buzz. My bu girl, that shit buzzing the fuck up my head. Okay. Because okay. girl, mm -mm, that was not for me. Okay, number six that I wrote in here, I feel like respecting your elders is bullshit. It, it depends on how they are. Mm -hmm. If they're disrespectful for no fucking reason, they feel like what they do is right and they know they're wrong, oh, bitch, fuck you. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like, I said this because I feel like, like he said, it depends on what you do. If you're a rude-ass individual and you want respect so much, you're going to meet the right person and they're not going to give you that respect. So that respect your elder shit is bullshit because usually when they get old is that's when they get the most they they just do too much talking because they know that you can't do but so much but they gonna meet the right person and get the talking that person gonna tell them about themselves I feel like that shit doesn't know you can't be disrespectful to me and want me to be nice to you that is not how that shit go I don't care if you're 50, 80, 20, 30, 10, 11, fucking 90, 100 bitch you need to respect me if you want respect respect me mm. that like that's just how that go. So yeah. Mm. Um, number seven, I feel like this is a good topic for real, for real. I said my personal opinion is spirituality is not evil. You just have to have the proper knowledge about it and it depends on what you do with it. And also spirituality is not for everybody. I'm sorry. That too. Yeah. Definitely not for everybody because everybody wanna get tapped in, but then when they start seeing certain things, they scared. And baby, let me tell you something. When it comes time, them spirits ain't scared of shit. And another thing <laughs> I hate what people do is they try to put spirituality and Christianity together and baby it does not mix. That's like mixing water and oil. Mm -hmm. No. It don't mix. It don't mix. Mm -hmm. Now I know some people can believe in spiritual ways and still believe in that there is a God. Oh I believe it's a God. Which is fine mm -hmm. because you know everybody you know but at the end of the day you can't put one religion on another religion as like combining them in a way. Because that's just going to go, like he said, that's oil and water. That's not going to go in with each other. And then when you try to explain that to others, they ain't going to understand that. And plus, Christianity, man-made by whites. And honestly, spirituality, like, a lot of people, especially being spiritual, a lot of people is not going to agree with you. Say, I'm going to let you know this right now. So for the people who want to tap in and think, oh, yeah, I want to do this and I want to do that because, yeah, this crystal does that. So No, it don't work like that, baby. I got two crystals. One black and one white. No. <laughs> clear. One for protection and Rose quartz. Energy. I mean, not real quartz. Clear quartz? Yeah, I got clear quartz. I know the name. I just... Call it a little easier. Yeah, Okay. Because them names be all fucking long and shit. <laughs> and plus, I don't even know how to say clear quartz the right way. I said something else. Shit. Clear quartz. Clear... What you say? Clear quartz. Clear, <laughs> clear quartz. I be embarrassing myself. So okay. I just, just say the white and the black one. So I'll like, some Russell's. Kiana, if you see this, I'm sorry. They was just there. Girl, Kiana, her bitch ass only gave me one. Now she just eating it. Girl, here. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> All right, number eight that I put on here. I feel like there's no ugly stages with locks. I know a lot of the people in the lock community gonna be like, girl, please, them little worms. Mm -hmm. I feel like that. I need a retwist. Me too. <laughs> I feel like there's no ugly stage with there's no ugly stages with locks because. They be like the worms is the ugly part, but I feel like that's just a part of the journey. Like you have to go through that to get to where you want to. So I don't feel like nothing about it is ugly. It's a journey, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But yeah. Cause go I saw mine said journey. We're about to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all doing them all. So. 
But honestly, I feel like that's where you should really start to love it because you gonna love it when it start reaching that shoulder and it start oh, bitch, I'm gonna be swinging bitch 30 inch butt okay, down. Okay, like, so you need to love it while you got it short like this. So when you look back at your bitch, you're like, damn, like my shit really, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yeah. All right, so number 10. All right, y'all, my bad. I had run out of storage. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't even said that, bitch. <laughs> Better that you a broke bitch. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. All right, y'all. So, no, oh, you acting the fuck up. Your phone with the. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, number nine. This is a, a popular opinion that I have. I hate when I'm on TikTok and I'm scrolling, and them videos be like, "Stop scrolling or stop, bitch." Look, I'm scrolling now. Like, I don't like that. Like, I feel like they shouldn't have that on TikTok. I don't know. That catch my attention. Like, what you got to say to me? It do. Mm -hmm. Girl, as soon as the people come, stop scrolling. You've been on here too. Swipe. Girl, look, I'm trying to continue with my TikTok, not you telling me to stop. Mm -hmm. And because you told me to stop, I'm going to keep going. swiping. Okay, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> All right, so number 10. This is like, I got this question and I got a bonus question. So number 10, it says parents telling their kids business Ooh. to other people. Bitch, the way I be ready that. to just snatch my name of my mama braids out. I hate that. Let me read it again. Let me read it again for the ones in the back who ain't understand. Parents telling kids business mm -hmm. or problems to other people. My shabba. Hey, I hate that. Like, I feel like as a parent, certain, I'm saying as a parent, like I'm a damn parent. But I just feel like as certain a... things you don't tell other people. Like, maybe if you... Okay, so maybe if you got need like parent advice or maybe this is your first child, you don't know how to take it, you don't really know what to do with the child. Yes, you can go get advice, but as far as talking shit about your child to another person that I don't fucking know. Exactly, or putting your business out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like no, bro, that's not how that works. Like you would you would hate to if I go and tell your business to somebody else, but it's okay for you because you have that parent title. No, no, that don't work like that, nah, baby. You don't tell my business and I don't tell your business. How how would they say? Nah, I'll be wrong by slamming me like a bag of ice. ice right? <laughs> like I'll be wrong. Like I feel like you know, just because we the kids, they feel like we just gotta listen to them all the time. But sometimes they they're wrong. They ain't right all the time. Mm -hmm. And just so, because they feel like. Oh, oh, I hate when they say this. I've been here longer. Baby, you've been longer in your generation. There's a whole different generation. Okay, there. this is a whole different We di operate different, baby. We don't mm -hmm. do what we do. We don't do we do not do what y'all did back then. Because back then, them teachers could smack the fuck out of you. I wish a bitch would smack the fuck out of me in this school, okay. bitch. I'm going to beat that ass. I'm not one of your little friends. Oh, baby, I know you're not my friend. I promise you I know that. Girl, grab your outfit and grab your white girl. Girl, what? Mm -hmm. Who's the outfit? <laughs> um, you had your... <laughs> <laughs> your fault. All right, y'all, so I got one more bonus question. Well, bon bonus topic. My last unpopular opinion that I wrote down is late apologies from childhood traumas. So, basically. Girl, save it. That's all I'm going to say. Girl, save the apology. Basically, give it, you girl. did something. With me being a child, and you realize your wrongs now that I'm older, and now you try to come and apologize. Uh, uh, uh. It's the black mamas, the black bitches. <laughs> they only say sorry to you when they see you up. Girl, if you down, they not, they not think about that apology. I, Cause it's every every celebrity that I seen, Little Nas X, his mama saying sorry. Mhm. Mm Blue face mama, and all them like. They only do that when they see you up. Mm -hmm. Cause they're trying to be part of your life and get some of that fame. Mm -hmm. Bitch, go back to your trap house. Okay. I feel as though you should have it took you this long for you to realize your wrongs. And now that you realize your wrongs, you wanna come and try to say sorry to me. I'm I'm gonna be like, okay, I got the sorry, but I'm not gonna forget what you did. And that's always gonna be on my mind. Mm -hmm. But you like, can't live here great. You can't do around. nothing. That's gonna make me change my mind about that. I don't care if you say sorry if you bet me back in your life. If you want a cookie or popsicle, lollipop, bitch. Look, I don't want it. I don't want the sorry. I don't want none of that. Cause at the end of the day, why did it take you this long for you to realize you're wrong? Because yeah, I'm gonna you tell you. It? I'm gonna tell you. Cause they see you doing good mm -hmm. and they wanna be nosy. Mm -hmm. That's why I said like black black moms, they have it the way they the main people. Cause the dads don't really too much care. Unless it's just Christians, Christians. Unless it's a strict dad. Yeah. I mean, dads, moms, everybody, grandmas, aunties, everybody. They be them black moms. And I think is, 
y'all would want y'all need y'all would want better for y'all child so why would y'all like oh girl mm -hmm. and they feel like if the, if the mama really had it hard back then i'm i did this i did that okay i understand i really appreciate it, but what you're not gonna do just because you went through that you right bitch you're not right oh well, my thing is you're pretty this, much like, strong right like you went through this and you went through that i understand that emotional support that i was looking for you couldn't get that to me the next person did the the just simple conversations to have with you i couldn't even have that with you i had to have that with somebody else so why did it take you for this long to realize what you was doing was wrong when you kept doing it over and over and over and over again mm. you always think you're right that's not how that works Mookie. that's not how that works like Shit, girl, you, you th if you th maybe your lace don't be on all the way Y'all, I hope y'all like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that post notification so y'all know whenever I'm dropping another motherfucking video. DJ, you can tell them your your Instagram, your all your socials and stuff. So y'all can find him at. Girl, I'm on a nominous right now. Okay. But but, but I'm not gonna be a patch. <laughs> y'all can find me on DJ The Dawn Official, and the A is not T H E, it's T H A, and it's all together. I have it in the description below. Mm -hmm. So yeah, until next time. Take some of these opinions and think about it, because some of y'all be doing them. Okay, bosses makes banks. Uh.